want to dominate one human? Well, you're going to need weapons and arsenals. You're going to need bullets. You're going to need blueprints. And you're going to need mods. Today, I'm going to break down everything you need to know about weapons, how to upgrade them, how to craft them, and all that. So without further ado, let's jump into the menu and take a look at the weapons. All right, let's get started with the basics. So you have a primary, a secondary, and a melee weapon. One thing to note, guys, is you always want to make sure you're using the weapon that does the most amount of damage. And the way to do this is by seeing which weapon has more damage, better fire rate, or better magazine. And sometimes you might have the wrong weapon selected. This is a very good example that I'm going to give you. I'm currently running right now an SMG. Theoretically, this looks pretty good. It does 297 damage. But when I click on this, I'm able to go over and hover over the second weapon. As, as you see right here, this weapon does more damage. It has less fire rates, it has less magazines, but I'm going to be doing more damage when I'm using this weapon. So theoretically, I would probably want to make sure I run this weapon. Is I'm going to click on this, double click on it, and that's going to activate my mod in my primary slot. And as you see right now, I am running the best weapon when it comes to damage, as opposed to running one that doesn't have any damage. So this is a really good way to figure out if you're running the best weapon, if, not, if you're not running the best weapon. Apart from that, guys, Let's talk about one of the most important things about weapons, and that is the enhancements you're able to do to set weapons. Okay, so now that you understand how the weapons work, it's very important that you understand the menu of the weapon whenever you're taking a look at the weapon. Number one, there are four things you need to remember. Number one, the tier of the weapon. Number two, the calibration, as you see this one is plus zero calibration. And number three, guys, you also wanna make sure you pay attention to the uh, mod, uh, the enhancement that the weapon has or the passive enhancement that it has. For example, this has a uh, greed regular. So what this is gonna allow me to do is that each time I reload my weapon, it's gonna consume one or two bullets, which will give me a plus 10% damage per bullet that has been consumed for that particular weapon. Each weapon will be different and the higher the tier of the weapon, the more weapon passives you're gonna have. So you're gonna wanna make sure you're constantly paying attention to that. Now that you understand that, let's talk about weapon modifications, how you can improve your calibration, how can you improve your tier, and all that good stuff. So we're gonna click on modify on this weapon, and there are two things that are gonna, we're gonna be able to pick from this particular weapon. Number one is you'll be able to change the attachments on this weapon. So if you wanna apply a muscle, these are gonna all be unlocked, guys, by uh, either doing it in your craft station or finding them within your shops, okay? So as you guys see right here, we're going to be able to put those enhancements. So if you already have anything, it will automatically show in here that you already have them. And of course, each and every one of them will give you a specific benefit for either one of these mods or one of these stats. So as you guys see here, guys, every single one you'll be able to know because it will increment it right here on the bottom. So that's a really good thing to know if you guys want to have an add attachments. Another thing to note is this part right here which is the ammo capacity. Now, this is going to be one of the most important things you need to learn about the game because you might be running ammo types that are going to be less beneficial for you guys and you probably wasting them without even knowing. So in the ammo category, guys, there are different categories based on tier on ammo. So we, I have highlight over this one. It's going to be, this is the copper pistol ammo. This is going to be your default ammo. If I go to this one, you're going to notice that this is the copper pistol AP ammo. And you're going to notice that this is green. But one thing that you need to notice is that this goes and changes the damage of this weapon to 141. If I go over to this one, this is going to change it to 143. The blue one, 147. The, you know, the other blue one, 150. And the purple, 156. Now, the reason why this is important to understand is because if you don't, uh, if you don't understand this, there's going to be times when you pick up this ammo with while you're looting. It'll pick up the you know, blue, green ammo, purple ammo and it will automatically apply it to your weapon. So you're probably gonna be fighting mobs that don't need that much damage, and you wanna save special ammo for when you're fighting bosses. So you're gonna constantly wanna check what ammo type you're currently running on your weapon, so you know that you're using the ammo. If you're just mobbing, you're just using mobbing ammo, and if you're gonna go fight a boss, you activate the correct ammo. The best example I could give you guys, this one is on my crossbow. If I go ahead and I click my crossbow right here, you're going to notice that if I click on bolts, I have a set of you know regular bolts. And then I have these bolts that deal 330 damage. So I don't want to be running these 
when I'm just fighting regular mobs, I want to make sure that I run these when I'm fighting regular mobs and none of these, right? That are going to give me more damage. So that's one very important thing to know. The other thing you want to know, guys, we're going to go back to our primary here. Is the other thing you want to know are mods. All right. So one very important thing to understand about the mods, and this is going to be extremely crucial, is that not all mods are created equal. As you guys know, the mods drop into different tiers and applying the right mod to your weapon is going to be extremely important. Now, one mistake that I see a couple of people make is they see they pick up a green mod or a blue mod and they automatically apply it to the weapon thinking that it's going to give them all the benefits. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way because these are also tied to the tiers. So I'm apply this gray mod. This gray mod is going to give me a core effect of SMG plus 3% uh, damage. And that's pretty much it. Now, if I were to apply this green one, as you guys see right here, it's going to give me a core effect of a plus six more damage. That's a really good one, but I won't be able to use the random attribute due to the fact that my particular weapon is not tier two. So as you see right there, calibration slot in, uh, inapplicable due to the current gear. So that means that I won't be able to get that random attribute. So if you ever get a mod and your mod does not match the color or the tier of that specific weapon, you won't be able to get, tap into the random attribute, which is a very important thing that I see and a common mistake I see people make. So you want to make sure you keep that in mind. Now that you know the basics, now let's talk about making weapons powerful. And I'm pretty sure 99% of you guys don't know this. So you want to make sure you pay close attention to it. Uh, so you want to go to blueprints and on your blueprints, you're going to get a list of all the weapons you currently have and weapons that are currently available for you to pick up. Number first thing you want to know is you want to know if you have blueprints that you have unclaimed. And the best way I can show you this is by going to the blueprints under my gear here and going to the gear and checking blueprints and going to armor blueprints. And you're going to notice this yellow icon right here, right? So this yellow icon means that I have this blueprint available, but I have not claimed it. So you just want to go ahead and hit fuse. That's going to fuse it and it's going to automatically unlock it for me. And as you see right there, it shows up right there on the armor plate. And now I have that unlocked. In addition to this, I'm going to give you guys an example of this uh, via the, the gear set, but it also works with weapons. Unfortunately, I was recording the video and I forgot to hit record when I was doing this for the first time. So you guys can get an idea of how this works. So what you want to do, guys, is you want to go click on details on the gun. And once you click details on the guys, there's going to be this tab right here that's kind of hidden in a sense. Uh, uh, you're going to click enhancements. And in the enhancement tab, there's going to be this thing called Wonder Blueprint Fragment. So as you guys see right here, I have one already. I already did this to the gun and this is the time I was able to recording. But I have 20% 20 of these, right? So it says right here, if I click on it and I go to, uh, I put it in here, it gives me 120 out of 20, uh, 240 XP. But I cannot enhance this because I already enhanced it already because I have insufficient materials for this. Now, you're probably wondering, where do I get more materials? So it's very important that you understand that each weapon falls under a specific category. For example, there's the Hunter category, the Wonder category, the Operation category, the Juggernaut, the Meta, and the Stranger. And anytime you guys have, uh, you know, weapon blueprints that fall under this category, it's going to allow you to enhance that particular weapon. So let's say this one in particular, if I get more blueprints that fall under that category right then i could come in here and keep enhancing them uh enhancing this weapon and what does the enhancement do the enhancement allows me to fill this bar of stars as you see right now almost all my weapons don't have enough stars and the higher tier weapons the more stars are going to be in there but as you notice it, it you know this one went up to two because i did it off stream of like off recording but i'm gonna show you guys with the gear so if I go to my gear here, guys, if I go to my blueprint and go to my armor blueprint and I click on this one, his operation here, I have, an, I have a total of 50 of these. Okay. I have 50 of these, which are fine items. So let's say I click on this uh, helmet or this one. Let's see if I click on this one and I go to enhancements and I click on this. You're going to notice that right now I don't have anything in there. So the only one that has enhancements is the operator one. And I basically just got to see which is operator. Okay. So it's this one operator. Okay. So this is the one we just currently infused. I'm going to go in enhancements. I'm going to click here. And as you see right here, I have another item that falls under that same category. Okay. That allows me to enhance it. So if I select this one and I go ahead and click enhance here, you're going to notice that's going to upgrade my item. So now my helmet goes from having one star to having two stars. Okay. So it's extremely important that you understand that concept because if I wanted to enhance this again, I could. As you guys see here, because I had a bunch of these, but once we go back to the menu, 
you're going to notice that it's going to went from 50 to 145. So it's going to be extremely important that you pay close attention to that because it's right here. I have this operator one. I'm going to get a hand and fuse. Once again, unlock the item. And this works with weapons as well. It's the same thing with gear and weapons. And if I want to enhance this one, because this one only has one star, I'm just going to click on that and go back to enhancements and click on it. And now I'm going to hold, uh, hold on, I'm going to click on it, click on that. And then I'm going to hit that one and be able to upgrade it. Now, this is the reason why it's extremely important that you guys learn to be able to uh, pretty much farm locations where these items drop. So you can get a bunch of operator ones and that way you can get like a four star operator set, you know, and a four star wonder set. And the same thing applies when it comes to weapons. All right, so the second way you're able to upgrade your weapons is you're gonna go to the workbench right here and you're gonna go to calibrate. You're gonna hit H on here and this is gonna allow you to calibrate your weapon. So you're gonna select the weapon you wanna calibrate and when you calibrate this weapon, it's going to increase the calibration of set weapon. So it's going to increase the damage that it does. And the great thing I like about this game is that it actually allows you to see the, the advancement that you get. Now, of course, there's going to have, you're going to have to have the certain material to be able to upgrade that. In addition to that, you're going to need these energy links to upgrade it. So basically farming for energy links and getting materials enough to be able to do it. So for example, my crossbow, as you guys hear, I already calibrated this to the max. So my weapon is already fully calibrated and you could do this with any single weapon that you have, as long as you have the proper material from it. So the majority you'll start off with, you know, this material. And as you progress, it's going to ask for more material, but that is how you level up the weapon. And the main objective here is to calibrate it to a one, one out of five. And what this does, it just raises the damage stats and it raises, of course, the secondary stats, which is the critical rate, critical damage, and the weak spot points for each individual weapon. Now, apart from that, guys, there is another way to actually upgrade your weapons, and that is via mods. Now, we talked a little bit about mods, but what we didn't talk about is how mods are able to be infused. Now, I unfortunately recorded this off screen, so I'm just going to briefly explain it on the way it works. So when you go to a mod, you're going to have these gray mods, and currently you cannot modify gray mods. You can only modify green mods. So if I click on this green mod right here, you're going to notice that this green mod now went to a tier two. But what happens if I don't like the stability stat, right? What happens if I look at this mod and I don't like this damage against uh, Resetta units? I want damage against Deviant. Well, you're able to re-roll this if you wanted to. The way you re-roll this is by clicking on here. And when you click on here, it's going to ask you that you need to have tokens to be able to uh, re-roll this and you know, you can re-roll it. So if I hold down F here, it's going to re-roll it, but I have these tokens. Now the question becomes this laser, where do you get these tokens? Because you have insufficient tokens. Well, in order for you guys to get these items, you're going to come to your disassembly bench, click on the disassembly bench, and you're going to want to make yourself over to this tab right here, which you're going to see the bots. So if there is a mod that you feel like you have too much repetitiveness of, for example, if I look at this one, I have the same one over and over. I can quickly click on one of these or two of these and go disassemble. And that's going to tell me it's going to output me three of these uh, excited state uh, data elements, which I could then use to re-roll my mods. And that is how you are able to make these weapons even more powerful than what they currently are by making sure that not only are you constantly upgrading your weapons, you're infusing your weapons, you're calibrating your weapons, and you're uh, pretty much putting the right mods on that specific weapon. I hope this video gave you a better understanding on how weapon upgrades work and the crafting in general of once human. If you have any questions or any tips in the comment section down below is where you need to go right now and put those tips or those comments if you have any questions. I hope you guys are enjoying our once human content and if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications and let us know what you want to see next. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video.